G'day and uh, welcome to another video review. Um, in this video I'll be reviewing another Visconti. This is one of their uh, cheaper series. It's called the uh, Rembrandt. Um, quite a nice pan. I got this one uh, cheap off eBay. Uh, I think I paid somewhere around the price region of 100 Australian dollars delivered. Uh, it was a bit of a bargain so um, I thought yeah I'll have that. Alright so typical Visconti pen. It's got the my pen system on the end there, which I've got with my initials. Um, then you come down to the typical billboard clip with the spring loaded. Um, like I've said in other videos, people have complained about these clips not holding on well enough. I've never had that issue. I think it's quite nice. I like the billboard design, the advertising their brand. Um, this is a quite a nice clip with the uh, black acrylic inlay. Now you come down to a band at the end of the cap there, which is a really nice... Um, pattern on it which is sort of like a, on a floral Celtic type design um, then it says Rembrandt on it so it's quite a nice little um, end cap there uh, then it comes down and it's a very uh, shallow tapered pen with a uh, mirror polished cap on the end that oh, sorry excuse me the um, acrylic this is made out of is like a um, it's a swirly red and white with a little bit of black acrylic. Apparently it takes um, credence from uh, Rembrandt's paintings and his painting style. Um, I quite like it. It's very swirly and from a distance it doesn't have much uh, depth to it. But when you look at it closely you can see all the different colours that have gone into it and how it's how the colours have flowed through it. And it's a very nice finish. Um, I very much like the red. Uh, look looked brilliant so I thought I had to have it. Um, with these pens they've got a magnetic cap so you just pull it apart and then you push it back towards together and it clips itself. Quite a nice little uh, novelty design that. Um, being permanent magnets it should last quite a while before they actually wore out and um, it's a nice design feature. So you pull that off it um, posts quite well if you want to post it. Um, turns it into a very nice size writing pen, or you can use it unposted. It's a little bit shorter, but it's still quite usable. I hold it quite far up on the pen, um, so it's not too much of an issue. Uh, the barrel is obviously uh, just a straight design. Tapers down a little bit where the cap comes on, and because there's no thread since magnetic design, um, it's very smooth through there. Goes to a metal section, which um, some people find these metal sections get slippery. Again, I do tend to sweat when I write or when you know I'm doing something important. I haven't had any issues with this one getting slippery. It comes to a little end squared off section, obviously to stop you from sliding off the grip. And then down to your um, stainless nib. Uh, these nibs, from what I've seen, um, do have a tendency of being uh, very dry when they come. Uh, because I got this for a cheap price, I was happy enough to throw a shim or two in it. Um, just opened up those tines a little bit as they were touching at the very end, and it was making it a bit dry to write with. Since then, it's been a brilliant pen to write with, and um, I quite enjoy it. Um, unscrew the barrel, and again, it's another cartridge converter. Um, I don't think no. this one isn't a threaded type inside like the others, it's just a push converter. Um, but it's still not a, quite a nice setup there. Um, nice little converter. And uh, yeah, so it's quite a nice pen to write with. The, um, the cap, magnetic cap is really cool. And the, um, the overall design is just a really stylish, nice design to the pen. Um, if you can pick one up cheap, i definitely recommend it. Um, you might have to adjust the nib a little bit. Like I said it's not everyone, but it seems to be a fairly common issue with these pens. Um, and aside from that, I haven't found any issues with it. The letters and that stick in there quite nicely and you can personalise it to however you want with the Visconti My Pen system. Nice pen, great design, looks awesome. I'll uh, do a writing sample and show you what the nib can do. Oh wait, okay, I did forget the dimensions now, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, I'll get there. Um, Alright, so... Uh, Capped, it's 138.5 millimeters. 
posted, it's 160 millimeters. Uncapped, it's 124. Uh, the grip at the smaller section is 10 millimeters. And it goes up to 12 millimeters in the barrel. The weight with the cap is a fairly hefty 32.6 grams. And without the cap, it's still a fairly uh, weighty 19.7 grams. Um, when riding with the pen without the cap on, the weight is towards the front. And when you put the cap on, sorry, just spilling a bit of ink. I filled these up and I didn't actually wipe the nibs, nibs down properly, so that's my bad. Um, if you put the cap on, it sort of evens the weight out towards the front and the back. Um, and makes it a bit of a lighter pen to write with. Alright, so that's the uh, details. I'll get to that writing sample. Cheers. Alright, so the writing sample for the uh, Visconti Rembrandt. I'll um, see if I can get you the, a good view of this um, resin. You can see some of the different colours there. Oh, there we go. You can see how the colours come through and the swirls through it. It's quite gorgeous. Very nice. Um, and this band I wasn't able to show earlier. It's a nice pattern. Here it says Rembrandt. The pattern goes round. And back to Rembrandt again. And again, these billboard clips, I always love these billboard clips. It's quite nice. I like the um, it, the black inlay. It makes it really visible and easy to read. And again, my initials on the top, uh, on the my pen system. I quite like this idea. I like putting my initials on pens and stuff, but I don't want to make permanent changes to a pen, like engraving the barrel. Um, you never know when you know you might want to sell or do a trade. So it's quite nice to be able to do that. So the pen posts quite securely, which is quite nice. Um, there's still a bit of a writing sample, though. Visconti Rembrandt, uh, this is the medium steel nib, uh, it's actually in red, uh, the ink is uh, Mont Blanc Leonardo which is now discontinued ink, um, can't get it anymore. Uh, good luck if you can buy a bottle for less than $100. Um, I bought two bottles about oh, three, four months ago, actually probably longer, probably be six months ago now, and uh, it's quite a nice colour. Looks like old red chalk. Um, obviously my camera's not colour correcting, so it makes a difference. A uh, bit of a writing sample. A bit quicker. Not a single skip. Uh, like I said, when I first got this pen, it wrote quite dry, too dry for what I really like. Um, there's a nib there. So I just put a couple of shims in, opened it up, and um, it came all good. Um, quite happy with that. Um, funnily enough, I have to actually have to say that this steel nib on this pen is actually probably smoother than a lot of the gold nibs I own. Um, very smooth, very nice nib to write with. Um, doesn't have the flex of other Visconti nibs, but you know it's a little bit soft, so it has a little bit of bounce, which is quite nice. As you can see there, it's got a little bit of line variation, but this pen isn't designed for that at all. Um, it's just designed to be a really nice writer. Um, I'll just see if I can show you. No skipping at all. It's nice and smooth the entire way. Uh, and obviously, I made it a wet writer, so this should be fairly wet. 
There you go. So you can see it's quite wet. Really lovely pen, these. Um, can't go past them. I recommend picking one up if you can pick it up cheap. I wouldn't pay full retail price, but on eBay, you can pick them up reasonably well. Viscontis aren't price controlled, so some companies do offer deals on them occasionally. Um, the magnetic closure is quite nice as well. Um, but yeah, so definitely a nice little rider. Looks great, does a great job. And you know, I picked this up for 100 bucks delivered. You know, it's not going to break the bank if that's what you pay for it. And then, you know, you've got a nice Italian pen you can use. Steel nib doesn't make a big difference over the gold or palladiums. Like I said, this one's just still amazing once I uh, got it a bit wetter. So, yeah, hope that's helped and um, hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye.